tell me, Patrick, what does this award mean for you from the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Um, I think it's huge because I, I, I feel like there's this, um, it, well, it's, gr it's great to be, you know, recognized and I'm really honored. Um, and I think, you know, Star Wars is such a huge movie and I think people, when they watch that list of names scroll by at the end, um, you know, they always remark on, wow, that's a lot of people. And, and even in the case of visual effects, they think, you know, how does it take so many people to make a movie? But it really does um, to come, you know, to, to bring, you know, your full sort of creative force to a film. You have to have a lot of people working with you and, and nobody does it alone. And I think that's that's what this means to me is I think we're recognizing a lot of people that kind of work, you know, a little bit more behind the scenes. And I think that's um, that's awesome. I think it's great. Um, you've created visual effects for J.J. Abrams for both Star Trek mm -hmm. and Star Wars. Um, what's it like to tackle these iconic science fiction films? Well, it's huge because, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's the weight of a lot of fans, you know, waiting to see what you're going to do. It's also really great because I think, you know, especially in the case of Star Wars where when we're working on trailers and we're working on things to, that the public is going to get to see, you get this immediate feedback. You know, you, you have this moment where when something goes out, um, all of a sudden people are, are responding to it and you, and you get, you know, you instantly kind of know how people are feeling about it. And that connection with the audience, I think, is something that when you, you don't always get that when you're working on a film, but when you're working on these iconic franchises, you know, Star Trek and, and Star Wars, it, it just, it comes, you know, very viscerally right to you while you're doing it. And it kind of gives you that energy to kind of push it push it on through. And uh, it's it's really something, you know, it's, it's a, an experience that I, I wouldn't uh, give up for anything. It's amazing. Um, how did you balance the use of practicals with visual effects in The Force Awakens? Well, I think we always just took the approach of, you know, what is the best thing for the movie? You know, what's going to produce the best possible um, version of what we're trying to do? And if that's, you know, if that's something that we could potentially do both ways, I think we're, you know, we're more apt to sort of try to shoot it, you know, and if, and if that's something that can't be shot or that we think we're going to need to enhance later, you know, then that's where visual effects will come in. But I think it always is from the standpoint of, what's going to give us the best result and it isn't so much a there, there's really nobody carving out any territory there is really just thinking on the day you know how does this look and how does it feel and is this giving us the story that we're trying to tell and you know that's what JJ is always thinking about is what what is what's going to drive the story and, what, and how is the audience going to feel about this what's Thank next you. for you um, I'm actually going to be working on episode eight, so I have a, a little bit of a break, but um, you know things are, are are getting going, so we're uh, I'm very excited about that. Very exciting! Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations on tonight, so well deserved. Thank you very much. Thank you.